I'm forever grinding. Waiting for my time to shine just like a diamond. Yeah. But life is rough and I ain't with that funny stuff. I use it all as motivation, but it's hard to have the patience. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. It's Reviews with Sid. I mean... I guess Blonde Santa, but you already know who it is. You already know what it is. It's the channel where, where we grab the hottest, highly anticipated, newest snacks or drinks. And if requested by all of you, newly added food items from fast food restaurants. We then taste them, rate them, review them, let you know if you should eat or sweep, consume, or grab that Grinch broom. Today, we have a limited edition Sprite. It is winter spiced cranberry. I am I am a little skeptical about this one. I'm not crazy about cranberries, you know, something healthy. Eh. You know, veggies and fruits, eh. I'm just kidding. Eat your greens out there. Stay healthy. Also, obviously eat your snacks. You gotta, you know, you gotta find that in between. A little bit more snacks for me, but all right, you know what? Let's just try it, let's try it. Winter spice cranberry. Let's see how it is. You know, it just looks like original Sprite in the can or in the bottle at least. Let's check it out. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to try and distinguish that smell. I don't want to say it smells like cranberries, but I guess if you were to like, you know, make a cranberry drink or whatever, I, I haven't had a cranberry smoothie if that's the thing. I've never had one, but I guess let's just say it smells like cranberries. Of course, you still get that Sprite, that Sprite feel, that same Sprite, Sprite fizz and carbonation. You definitely need to drink more than that though. It tastes like something I've had before. I've never had this drink before, but it tastes like a different, another type of soda. Honestly, I haven't had cranberries in a while. I have, I've had some craisins if that counts. Basically, you know, dried cranberries. I don't know if that really counts in terms of what I'm trying to distinguish between the two, you know. But honestly, whatever I'm trying to, whatever I'm tasting, it's good. Actually, it just reminded me, it kind of tastes like a little bit of a Mountain Dew flavor. I don't know which one exactly. Maybe a little bit of, um, hold on. It has like a same kick to like a Mountain Dew flavor. Maybe like a little bit of like Code Red. I think that's what I'm kind of tasting. Or this, you know, similarities at least. It is good though. Surprisingly, again, I was a little skeptical and skeptical in terms of trying it or buying it, seeing how it is. But you already know it's limited edition. We got to try it. We got to give it a shot. It is good. I would have it again. Yes, I would not sweep it off with a Grinch broom. I would have it again. I would buy again. In terms of rating, honestly, like I, I enjoyed what I just tasted. I would definitely, you know, enjoy it during a meal, you know, pop it open, drink it during like if you're having a burger or whatever it is. I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10, to be honest. It's definitely not Mountain Dew Voodoo. That was fire. But it does have a very similar taste to some sort of Mountain Dew. I'm kind of feeling a little bit of Code Red vibes with it. So yes, I would buy again. Rating 8.5 out of 10. I would not definitely not sweep off the table. If you have tried it, let me know what you thought down below. You know, let me know what if, if I'm kind of if I'm feeling if you're feeling the same like Mountain Dew vibes with it or not. If you did enjoy this episode, please drop a like. As always, share, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. And peace out.